Hi, I'm Nelson Davis, Technical Instructor, Motor Car Parts of America. Today we're going to go over how to properly test a vehicle's battery. Anytime there's a starting or charging system issue, you'll always want to start at the heart of a vehicle's electrical system, the battery. Did you know that a discharged battery can lead to premature failure of your starter or alternator? If the battery is discharged or worn out, either the starter or alternator will function properly. Our focus in this video is to teach you the steps to find the source of a starting or charging system problem. So let's get started. Safety first, we always suggest safety glasses and gloves when working with batteries. Testing the battery involves three easy steps. Step one, a visual inspection. Step two, determine the battery's state of charge. And step three, final testing of the battery. In step one, a visual inspection involves looking for obvious physical damage to the battery, such as a cracked or broken case or leaking electrolyte. As part of the visual inspection, it is important to inspect the battery cables for any loose connections, corrosion, oxidation, or frayed or damaged wiring. It is also important to verify that the vehicle has the correct battery installed. An incorrect battery can lead to starting and charging system problems, as well as other electrical system problems on your vehicle. If the battery passes the visual inspection, we can then move on to step two, determining the battery's state of charge. The state of charge of a battery is a measurement of how much energy is remaining in the battery at the present time. A quick method to measure the battery's state of charge is with a digital multimeter. Before measuring the state of charge, confirm that the ignition and all the electrical accessories in the vehicle are off. To do this, simply connect the multimeter test leads directly to the battery terminals. The voltage reading of the battery can be translated into percentages indicating the battery state of charge. The battery state of charge needs to be at a minimum of 12.45 volts. Anything less, the battery will need to be charged first before final testing. If the battery is at least 75% charged, or 12.45 volts, we can move on to step three, final testing of the battery. There are two different methods available to make a final determination on whether the battery is good or if it needs to be replaced. A load test or a conductance test. For a cranking load test, you'll need to disable either the vehicle's ignition or fuel system. This varies from vehicle to vehicle. Refer to the vehicle's service instructions for help. Next, turn the ignition key cranking the engine for a maximum of 15 seconds while measuring the battery voltage at the same time. If the battery voltage drops below 9.6 volts during the cranking test, the battery needs to be replaced. A conductance test requires a special electronic battery tester. It's a fast, simple, and accurate method for determining the health of the battery. After connecting the tester directly to the battery terminals, simply follow the screen prompts by entering the correct information to perform the test. On this vehicle, we've determined the battery is good. In conclusion, the average life of a battery is about four to five years. It can be as low as three years in extreme hot or cold climates. As I mentioned, if you need a new battery, the replacement battery must be the correct type, correct group size, and meet the proper requirements for your vehicle. We know that diagnosing your vehicles can sometimes be difficult. That's why we're here to help. Part of MPA's customer commitment, our technical support hotline is staffed seven days a week with ASE certified technicians to help you do the job right the first time. We hope this video has been informative. For other helpful tips, be sure to check out our educational YouTube videos. And thanks again for watching.